Hey, what's up? This is Rodney, and I'm back with my review over The Boys Next Door LA, episode four. Um, this episode was titled uh, Bottles Up for a reason. Um, so this episode kicks off with Arrows and BB meeting, meeting up on a pier. Um, BB wanted to meet up with Arrows because he just wanted to talk to him. You know, they fucked before. It was a one-time thing, but they fucked before, and BB just wanted to meet up with him. So... It wouldn't be any type of tension or any type of ill feelings, if any, whenever they had to hang around the other group of guys. Um, you know, honestly, Arrows seemed unbothered by this to me as far as, like, them having sex. Because um, even if you go look back at the first episode when BB was first um, introduced to us, um, you know, Arrows, his... His demeanor didn't change from the time, before the time B.B. got there. It was basically the same. Um, so I don't even think Arrows is even bothered by this. I don't know if um, B.B. was trying to get camera time. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I was kind of with Arrows. Like, it was kind of weird and strange. Like, who really gives a fuck? Um... So anyways, um, you know, he meets up with Aaron just to basically discuss them having sex and to put everything out there in the opening. Um, you know, he asks him about Aaron. Um, B, I mean, you know, Arrow's whole thing is like, why are you asking him about Aaron? I was even thinking the same thing. I don't know if it's because of the editing or what. I don't know if this scene was, I don't know if this scene was taped before Aaron and BB had the discussion about BB and Arrow's having sex. Um, or if it was afterwards, but even if, even, it doesn't really matter to me because if you and Aaron are good friends, then that's a discussion that you need to have with Aaron and not with Arrows. I would be like, kind of like, really? Cause his whole thing was he, about his whole, BB's whole thing, I'm sorry, was, um, about Aaron and Arrows hooking up, you know, if they fucked that night when they left the club. Um. And Arrow's whole thing was like, that's really none of your business, but we didn't have sex. And that's when I was with Arrow's. It's none of your business, but, you know, that's, that's a discussion you need to have with your good Judy, not with me. Um, so anyways, um, BB clarifies that him and TT did not have sex that night. I mean, they're not, they didn't have sex. Um, Arrow's basically says in his confessional that that's not what, he, you know, that's not what he got. And that's not what I got either. Based on the way that Prince was acting at that table and the shade that T.T. was on when he spoke to him. <laughs> when T.T. spoke to um, um, B.B. like that, you know, it was just a, a shade fest. And the things that Prince was saying, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have took that they did not have sex. I'm still thinking they something happened. And then on top of that, T.T. said he calls him Bay Bay. They used to be his Bay. T.T. said that the only thing they did was kiss. Okay, anyway, so... B.B. says that he doesn't remember... Um, he doesn't remember the sex. But he does remember that... Uh, uh, Eros has a big dick. So, I'm, how do you not remember the sex... But you remember he had a big dick? So, you don't remember him fucking the shit out of you? But you remember him having a big dick? And Arrows is even confused too, like, okay, like, if you don't even remember it, then this discussion is pointless, you know? Um, but I think he remembers, I just don't think he want to say that Arrows probably fucked the shit out of him and he took that big ass dick. Because they said that Arrows has a 10 inch dick, so, <sighs> I don't know. Um, you, I, I don't know, I'm just saying. Um... But I do think Biggie is lying. I do think he does remember um, having sex with um, Arrows. And I'm thinking it was it must have been a while ago because BB mentioned that when he walked up, he didn't know if Arrows remembered him or not. And Arrows was basically like, I remember everybody who I have sex with. Well, girl, not me, personally speaking. Um, there's some people that pop I like, girl, you know, back in my whole days, um, I've been saved. Um... So, yeah. Um, so, Aaron, anyways, that is basically over. Aaron throws his first... How long? Okay. Aaron throws his first Friday event. Um, BB, all the guys are there. BB pulls Prince to the side to basically talk about the first time that they met. Now, Prince lets, uh, lets us know that uh, BB was being shady and I guess acting funny because that was, they all basically knew each other. The way BB walked up into the scene, 
he entr- he stuck his hand out to speak to people like he didn't know them. And Prince was like, he already knows, like everybody knows everybody. So why would he walk up to the table, you know, trying to act like he didn't know us? Um, I, yeah, I would think that would be weird too. Like, why are you walking up to me, shaking my hand, like, and nigga, I already know you. Like, are, did the producer say, I don't know. Did, I don't know if the producer told him to do that or what. Um, but anyways, um, you know, BB was just basically just wanted to put it out there that he basically didn't think it was cool the way they tried to, you know, clown him or uh, clown him or slut shame him when he said he hasn't slept with TT and he hasn't slept with Brandon Anthony's um, best friend. Um, now Prince does what Pr- Prince gives me the type of person that if he has a crowd, for example, at the table, he he's the type of person that will try to like read you and shade you if he has an audience. But if he's just with you by himself, he probably won't say two words. I don't too much deal with people like that because it's like, to me, it's almost like you almost low key drama feel when you have an audience you want to try to read. When you're by yourself, you just kind of like low key. I don't trust people like that. So, anyways, um, but I do believe him when he said that they all know. I think they all know each other, so I don't know why he would walk up to the table acting like he didn't. So, anyways, um, <laughs> Arrows also ma- Arrows Arrows even mentioned like if TT and Brandon, I mean if TT and uh, BB didn't hook up and they met off of a social app. Hello, and the gays know what social apps are usually made for. Um, not all people use them for those purposes for sex, but most of the time it's kind of like for a one night stand, a quick hook up, you know, get your quick blow job, <laughs> and you go about your business. Um, and he was like, what the fuck did they do? Meet up to bump purses? <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing, but low-key, I thought the same thing. I didn't even, like, it's so odd, it's so odd to me that they would be interested in each other. Like, I wouldn't see TT and BB wanting to even, like, meet and, like, I don't know. I could see them more as friends. Anyways, how much time do I have left? Okay. Um, so anyways... BB has this is the part that really, this is the part I really want to talk about because everything uh, everything else before this really doesn't even fucking matter. So BB has a gathering at his uh, new apartment. Um, Prince doesn't come. Um, he said he had just made it back in from out of town, so you know probably he was tired. Um, Brandon Anthony comes. He didn't invite BB. Did not invite Brandon Anthony. Now, from what I can understand so far. Brandon Anthony and BB, they're really not cool. Um, I, they know each other, but I think I think they're the type of friends where they, because Aaron and BB are best friends, and Brandon Anthony and Aaron are best friends. So I think the only time they really hang, they've only hung out with each other is when Aaron has to do has to do something with it. Like I don't think they fuck with each other if Aaron is not around. But if Aaron if Aaron is around. It's kind of like, oh, I'm meeting up with Brandon. BB's going to come. Or I'm meeting up with BB. You know, Brandon's going to come. I think it's like one of those type of things. But I don't think they've, they've established any type of relationship. So he didn't invite Brandon to his gathering. Now, honestly, I don't think BB wanted Brandon to come anyways. Because, first of all, you're shooting a reality show. Second of all, if you really wanted him to come, no, being that TT and Brandon are cool... And Aaron and Brandon are like best friends because Aaron said that's like his brother, so they have to be like best friends. If you wanted him to come, he, he would he you could have easily gotten in contact with um, with Brandon. So, anyways, you know he basically was like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to you know invite him. I'm not gonna be you know searching for him on Instagram, blah blah blah, which I can understand that. But at the end of the day, you really didn't want him there. He you, you really didn't want him there anyways. So, anyways, um, there's a knock at the door. And, you know, it's Brandon. He walks in um, with a, a bottle of wine. First of all, let me tell y'all something. Brandon walked in with a cheap-ass bottle of wine. Don't get it twisted because I drink that same wine. It's called Liberty Creek from Walgreens. I don't know how much it costs in L.A., but if you go to Walgreens down here in uh, Texas, you can go to a Walgreens on a good sale. You can get that shit for six ninety nine. No, matter of fact, on a good ass sale, you can get that shit for five ninety nine. That big ass thick bottle, yes, for five dollars and ninety nine cents. I drink it all the time. So anyway, I wake up the next day and I go to work. I wake up the next day and go work out whenever I want to work out. So anyways, he walks in with that cheap ass bottle of wine. I thought he was being funny. 
kind of like, I'm not going to bring you no, no good shit. Like, nigga, I don't even fuck with you. But because you didn't invite me, I'm going to pop up and have something in my hand. So anyways, he comes um, and uh, he brings the wine. And honestly, I can understand him not coming. If, I, mean, I can understand him coming and not being personally invited by BB because... At the end of the day, they all know each other. And it's not, at this point, it's not like they hate each other. I just don't think they've established that type of relationship to the point where I would feel like, if I was Brandon, I wouldn't feel like, okay, we probably don't fuck with, fuck with each other like that, but I would think it would be okay for me to come to his house. You know, let me just bring something. You know, just as kind of like, oh, here you go. So anyways, uh, he comes in. Um, he walks in already shady. He walks in shady. You know, he gives Aaron a hug. Um, I think he gave BB a hug. He hands him the bottle, basically saying, um, I brought you some wine because I know you probably didn't have any. Um, you know, basically, he sits down. When he sits down, he starts looking around his apartment like this. First of all, that's shady right there. You don't walk into, no, you don't walk into someone's apartment. Um... You know, looking at their like looking like that, like especially someone who you don't like. If it's like if it's my good, 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 good friend, I'll walk in like, oh, you know, this shit is cute. This is nice. But if we're not really cool like that, I'm just gonna kind of like peep at the side of my eye, like, oh, okay, this is cute for him. Okay, this is cute. You know, I'm just not gonna make a big statement like. So, and how much time do I have? I'm think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make two videos. So, anyways. um... He walks in and he's, you know, looking around and, you know, uh, you know. So, anyway, he's looking around and, um, you know, BB asks uh, how did he get an invitation to the to the gathering. And TT basically says that he, um, no, Brandon says that he got a text from TT. TT says that, you know, since all the guys were, you know, hanging out, he decided to text Brandon like, hey, we're at BB's house you know, having a gathering. Now, again, I don't think anything is wrong with that because at this point, they haven't really established that they hate each other. It's just kind of like, I don't really fuck with him and he doesn't fuck with me. But, you know, we're cool with some of the same guys, so it's kind of like, okay, yeah, I'll come. I don't think anything is wrong with that. Now, I do think something is wrong walking into somebody's house, house that you don't really fuck with and being shady. I'm going to get to that part later. So, anyways, BB, oh, BB also made a comment about um, <laughs> you know, whenever whenever you receive an invite from him, it's like receiving an invite to the Oscars. <laughs> BB, you don't even have a wine opener or glasses at your house. So how can you compare your invitation to your gathering to the Oscars? Now, don't get it twisted. I have a wine opener and I do have glasses. But you better believe any party that I have ever had any birthday party I've ever thrown for myself, I'm having plastic cup, plastic cups. Because one thing I'm not going to do is wash no motherfucking dishes or load no dishwasher. You're going to get these plastic cups. You're going to get this ice out this bag. You're going to make you a drink, and we're going to have a good-ass time. But I'm also not comparing my parties to the fucking Oscars either. So that's the difference. So anyways... Okay, I'm going to have to make two videos. So anyways... Um, I'm about to end this. I'm going to start on the next one because I'm about to run out of time. I'm so long-winded, y'all. Okay.